Isn't it absolutely amazing that anybody can create an animation on Canva for free? For school, for any project at work? Let's jump right in. There you are. I'm using my Canva free account for this one. So you're going to access canva.com. You will then open a video landscape canvas, the 1920 by 1080. We are using two Canvas AI tools that are available on free as well as pro and loads of characters that you could use to create an animation using the Pixton app. For our step number one on your design area, you're going to scroll down and click on apps to access text to image. Click and open text to image. We're then going to add a prompt that's going to allow us to create a beautiful scene because we are creating a lady who's looking for her car in a parking lot and she can't find it. So we're going to be creating a underground parking lot where she can't find her car. You're then going to scroll down and select the style. There's 15 different styles that you can choose from. We're going to be using the dreamlike style for this one. Then you scroll and you choose the aspect ratio of what kind of design you want. You want a vertical, a landscape, or a square? You select that, then you click on create. Don't be scared to try, you get up to 100 images per day. Once you find the image that you want, you click on it once and add it to the canvas, and then wait for it to upload and set it as your background. Then you're off to step number two going and finding your characters for your animation. Canva allows you to use free stickers as well as animated stickers there's a lot of content that you could use so keywords are very important in order for you to find what you're looking for using keywords like comic shopping and once you are busy browsing clicking and selecting asking canva to show you free items only it also helps so go on your settings and tell Canva that you want free graphics only so that you can only view free stuff if you're using your Canva free. You want a secret stash of characters on Canva? You can do that via an app on Canva. So you scroll down and you select apps. And on the apps you can search for Pixton. And when you click on the app, it's going to get added on your apps. And then you will have access to thousands of characters that you can use for free for your animation. Isn't that cool? So we're going to add one of the characters who's walking. You click on the character once and then they get added on your animation. Step number three is all about sound. So I usually record my own sound. I also use freesound.org to get a lot of sounds, but you can use a software like, like Murph.ai and I list the different kinds of voice to text softwares that you could use for your audio on your videos. There's another video that I've created that helps you with audio if you find it on the animation playlist. So what you would then do once you have all of your audio that you've created and you've put them on a file make life easy for you and keep them on a file and then upload them on canva The last element you're going to add, you're going to click on your element and you're going to look for a hello bubble so that we can add it to the guy that's on the phone and you adjust it and you make sure that you put it in the place that you want it to be and then you're good to go. Another thing that's available on Canva is to show timing for your elements that you're adding, like the pop-up hello that we've just added. So you can click on the element itself and right click to view the menu and then select show timing. That's going to allow you to trim the timing 
of the pop-up of your element this hello that we've added you can time it for a specific time and that helps with how your animation flows and how it looks like once you've added all of your elements and you've added all of the characters and the sound and you're happy this is the time for you to animate your animation but when you are ready and you want to add an animation you're going to select an element and then you're going to click where it says create animation on that b and you click and hold your character and then you move them to where you want them to move it's as easy as that you can animate up to 10 seconds per element you can have up to 50 animation on a design so that's also very important to note one thing to take note of you can select and animate as we've animated on the other characters if you've made a mistake on your animation when it comes to a free account and you click on create an animation and you move the character like we're gonna make this guy move and you play them and you're not happy you want to change it we don't have delete animation on a free account so that means you can select the character and delete them and add them again to add your uh, create animation otherwise you can click on remove animation and it removes all of the animation and you start all over again but what other cool things you could do with the canva free account is you could add motion effects you could add a pulse you could add a flicker like they're flickering you could add a rotate or and you could add a wiggle where is that car excuse me where is my car where is my car where is that car there you are you have seen the characters from Pixton that they don't actually move. So I've bought myself this drawing tablet and I'm going to unbox it here. I can't wait to show it to you, but you can also grab it on my link on the Amazon below. The last thing you would do is you're going to click on share and then scroll down to download and download as an MP4 and your animation is done. Please smash the like button and share the video so that youtube can share it to as many people as possible so that we can help many people with this amazing tool that's available for us to do animation for school for projects etc i'm super excited if this has added value to your life please visit our playlist the canva animation playlist and learn more about animating on canva and add comments for me below on what else we can animate and create and have lots of fun with canva Thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate you. I really, really do. I will see you on the next video.